In Boeing Defense Space and Security, and specifically in Phantom Works, we're really the advanced research and development, experimenting and prototyping arm that feeds into the technologies that go into our products and offerings to the warfighter. We're really focused on speed and agility. We're focused on getting innovative products as quickly as we can that satisfy all of our customers' warfighter needs. So we're very focused on agility. We have the innovation that we need to go fast, and we also have the resources of the prime. So we have a lot of capability to bring to the table. Very deep engineering bench, so we have lots of people that can go deep into problems, and then apply those to the real world, and bring uh, capabilities forward. Part of that is we do uh, lots of operational analytics in our virtual warfare center. So we have five different virtual warfare center sites that are distributed and integrated across the continental United States. And those enable us to do deep thinking and look at problems and to find gaps and seams and capability. And then we can go act on that with our engineering teams to kind of solve those technology problems and bring those forward. Uh, the other part of Virtual Warfare Center is it integrates with the warfighter. So we have over a thousand customer engagements. We have the 300 direct warfighter engagements that have participated in the Virtual Warfare Center. So a lot of vast experience in the operational analysis and examining the problems that are most difficult to solve for our, our customers that are out there. So the Warf Virtual Warfare Center is a huge part of what we do in Phantom Works. The other things that we do in Phantom Works is lots of advanced technology. So we are, since we are the research and development team, for Boeing Defense, we bring it a decades of experience when it comes to advanced technologies. Everything from sensors to antennas to processors to uh, actual aircraft, spacecraft. So from the seabed to space and air in between, we cover all of those capability domains. We also work very, very hard on strategic partnerships. So we partner with large and small companies across industry to bring their technologies that are really cutting edge and integrate them into what we do from a research and development perspective. So you get the most advanced relative technologies of today and tomorrow and pull those all together. So we really focus on strategic partnerships as well. A lot of it's classified, so we actually can't get into a lot of the details, but very advanced technologies for very advanced programs. Several of them that you can see behind me. So E7 is an example. We're doing lots of capabilities for advanced E7 that we're bringing forward, but it, it spans everything that we do from F-15 EX to Super Hornets, to spacecraft, to communications and networking capabilities, to obviously F-47 and all of our other capabilities we bring to bear. A lot of work in autonomy and artificial intelligence integration. So we do a very advanced autonomy work. Our MQ-28 Ghostbat that Boeing Defense Australia has been working on for literally eight to 10 years is the most advanced, most mature autonomous collaborative platform that is on the streets today, and it's flying. We've owned over 144 hours in that aircraft. It's integrated with E7. It's integrated with the Super Hornet. It's doing advanced command and control functions that come off of our E7 in Australia and ac actually controls that collaborative combat aircraft. Likewise, we have the MQ-25. So this, that aircraft is also a very advanced, long range, very capable autonomy platform. So a lot of work in autonomy, just to give a, a few examples of what we're doing in advanced research and development. So it's a super exciting place to work. We have a small but powerful team, and we're kind of moving forward to solve some of the most difficult problems for the warfighter. So the MQ-28 Ghostbat right now is obviously being built for the Royal Australian Air Force, but we're looking at other international customers as well to supply that product, those capabilities to whatever their needs are. So we're actively exploring that as well. It's not only the most mature, has flown the most of any autonomy platform that is on the market today, but it's done some very advanced integration work both with E7, uh, sensor integration, and now we're moving forward to obviously getting into live weapons launch to do kinetic effects on the platform. And that engineering work is ongoing today and moving very rapidly. So we're very, very uh, invested into that program. And everything from the ground control segments are very advanced. Uh, launch and recovery, things that you don't think are you know, difficult to solve or actually very difficult problems to solve, all the way to the tactical edge where you're applying effects where you need them for the warfighter. So very mature platform, very mature program overall. Uh, and like I said before, a lot of the advanced autonomy work is going into that aircraft and it's also going into MQ-25. It's going into other product offerings that we have to include Apache and Chinook in the future. We also do a lot of advanced manufacturing work. So getting speed to ramp, getting offerings and products actually into the warfighter's hands quickly with safety and quality at the forefront is 
an absolute focus of Phantomworks. It's everything from materials to processes to task orders and workloads and how we do that, but also robotics and other manufacturing techniques are uh, full scale determinate assembly capability we brought to bear uh, over the years came from Phantomworks and that's advanced manufacturing technology that we pursue today.